this event is about five years old. And when we first started, it was like we had about five to 800 people right in the heart of downtown Lahaina. Now, the next street up from Front Street is Waine. And the local residents never came beyond there uh, until that evening that we had the first uh, festival of canoes. So we used to call it the Waine Street uh, Curtain. And the reason why they don't come, there's nothing for them on Front Street. They're all mom and pop stores, the, the, the pool hall they used to come to, and the, you know, the auntie uncle shops is no longer there, so they don't come down except that evening. So from that point on, it started to grow into an event like this one, which is now an international event. But the whole idea of this renaissance of the canoe, like we are all in this same family, we are all in this family of man, and that if we pull together, there is our success in our lives. The whole aura of this forward movement, you know, not just where the Hawaiians came from, but that we can go back and forth at will. This is an event that we bring master carvers from around the world to participate. You know, they take trees and in just a short time of 20 days, they actually create beautiful canoes. And uh, if you've seen the beginning product and the end product, just the art alone to watch them be able to create these masterpieces is truly significant. There's a time on the sea gets rough, but the fishes they just move with the sea. What are you doing, Mr. Mom? Every day I watch a move and that name's speed. What you gotta do is sit down, relax, and patiently I like the fish in the is really, really important and, um, you know, culture, and I think uh, for the reason that that's how we came to Hawaii, um, the legends say that we traveled on the Va'a. There is a story about the fire goddess Pele and her family traveling on the Va'a known as Honua Iakea, and that Va'a being guided by her brother in the form of a shark whose name is Kamahuali'i. So the Va'a represents a lot in our tradition. Not only does it represent or symbolize travel, but for me, it symbolizes one's willingness to do things, perhaps, that have not been done before. Like how our ancestors got on the canoe, not knowing exactly where they were going. They took that opportunity and that chance, and they found Hawaii. The event is important because it, um, it rejuvenates and perpetuates the canoe culture. The canoe culture for us Polynesians is, um, well, you can liken it to, to DNA for it uh, within, within the canoe culture. The strands of our history all come together, they all tie in together. Hector Busby, he's probably the main canoe person in New Zealand. He has built a voyaging canoe. He's voyaged all over Polynesia, from New Zealand right up to Tahiti, right here up to Hawaii. Most of our canoes, we have a figure on the front and, and also a stern post at the back. And, uh, the actual figure on the front is uh, to the war god, and uh, that's why he's in front. He's sort of telling Tangaroa or Kanaloa to the Hawaiians that uh, Tane is uh, coming into his domain. <laughs> so. My knowledge actually came from my mom. By the time I got interested in building canoes, my grandfather was already gone. So my mom would, uh, whenever I had problems, I'd go to her and she'd just sit down. In the sand or in the dirt, she'll, she'll draw the picture what I need to know, and poof. Uh, what, is, what has been going on in the past uh, seven, eight hundred years ago of our kupunas when they've traveled the sea, there was only the means of transporting themselves to and from, uh, not only for fishing, but to venture to the different islands and to bring these people together. Our districts by the canoes. For example, the main island ha have uh, three districts, mm -hmm. and uh, for example, one district is called uh, Takitumu, and that's the name of the canoe that went there in about around about uh, 1200s, and uh, they settled there. And the district is named Takitumu Waka. The district is known as a canoe. 
not not uh, as something else. To me, the the canoe is a community, either on land or in the water. Yeah. We put them in like puzzle. We sew them all together. And this one, uh, we're very fortunate. This one is Albizia from uh, the Big Island. We're very fortunate to work with this. It's a great thing. It's a great uh, wood to be. It's easy, easy to work with. And this canoe we built here is a uh, fishing canoe. The canoes are called wa. Wa. And there's an old saying, that wa kukuwa jimur. So wa kukuwa jimur means canoe bring peoples together. When my father came to uh, Tahiti, my mom from Tautira, from Tahiti, and my father from Huayne, and then uh, that's when he really learned most how they have a lot of canoe cargo over there in Tautira, and that's how he learned and came uh, better and better and better. Yeah. And then uh, we grew up going with him in a, in a forest, you know, look, looking for trees, make fishing canoe, racing canoe, yeah. and that's how. And now he passed away, so we just carry on. Now. Yeah, I'm carving a canoe that call in Tonga is uh, Tafaanga. Tafaanga is a sideways view of a shark. So if you see my canoe, it's sort of like the front is look like a shark shape of the mouth open, and then at the back it looks like a tail. So that canoe is usually using for landing on, on uh, as, as a war and fishing canoe. My son is, I, I can say it's about his sixth canoe now. So he's, he's working under my supervision. The priests who were charged with responsibility of moving, uh, you know, a tribe or uh, for whatever reason to a new location, their spirits would leave, still be attached to the body, but they would leave, find the next destination, and, and you know, mark it somehow, and then return, and then they would lead the voyage to this new place that they found as a new home. So that's kind of uh, uh, the legendary origins of voyaging. The Hawaiian traditional paddle. This is what the Kamehameha, these warriors used to use, something like this, maybe taller, maybe wider. The only difference was it was made of one piece of wood. In, today we cannot afford to make it in one piece, gotta go laminations. But this is what I like to do. I like to keep the Hawaiian paddles going. The last two centuries, I've probably built more hollies, Hawaiian hollies, than any Hawaiian in the last two centuries. Holly is a shelter which uh, either housed uh, men, only men, Hale mua, the va'a, Hale va'a, sleeping Hale, Hale no, Hale papa'a, storage safety Hale, and other types of Hale like Hale umu. So every Hale uh, back in the old days had a specific function and a, and a job. This Hale va'a here uh, is gonna house a canoe the, that was built two years ago by um, by Ray Bumatai's uh, gang over here. That's one of the beautiful things about this Lahaina event is that uh, we can have the integrating of uh, the Hawaiian-ness into the process, you know, and have all, all of these, uh, all of the people that are visiting, yeah, Kamaina and the Malahini, they can interact and they can feel how we've been doing it for hundreds of years. Yeah.